If it has wheels and engine and is awesome, <laughs> you are sure to see it out at the Cops and Rodders Car Show. <laughs> I like it. It's awesome. It's awesome. We're talking about over 600 cars on display for a great cause. Bonnie Faircloth and Evelyn Brantley are here to tell us more about this event. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Can you tell us first a little bit about what is Cops and Rodders? What is this car show? This is the largest car show in Southern Arizona. It's our eighth annual car show. It's um, presented by the Tucson Police Foundation. And um, there's a registration fee for the cars if they want to show, but it is the best thing about it, it is free to the spectators. Anybody in the community, families, everybody can come take a look at these great, uh, these great vehicles. Take a, uh, go ahead and take advantage of the free activities that are going on for the kids. Um, food, uh, entertainment, we honor the veterans since we're so close to the, the veterans holiday. Uh, we have a special presentation for them as well. Now, I know I said if it has, you know, wheels mm -hmm. and an engine and it's awesome, it'll be there. Yeah. But when we're talking about 600 different cars, like, what are we looking at? Are we looking at trucks, cars, Everything. motorcycles? We have 64 <laughs> classes of cars wow. in the show. So. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know there were 64. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So really, whatever you're into, whatever it is that you want to see, whether it's like classic cars or anything, it'll we'll be out there. It'll be there. There'll be a representation of yeah. 64 or 180 yeah. different types of vehicles. So, so. Wow. Yes, yes. That's so crazy. Yeah, so you're honoring the veterans. It's, mm -hmm. it's free to spectators. Mm -hmm. um, it, does this benefit anybody? Absolutely. Um, the Tucson Police Foundation presents it, and it does benefit directly to the Tucson Police Department. Um, that's what the mission of the Tucson Police Foundation is, is to raise funds for critical safety or life-saving equipment for the, for the Tucson Police officers, um, as well as training. That's our, that's our mission. That's our goal. And so proceeds will benefit com directly to that. Now, it benefits them, but in return, it benefits the community. Because, of course, they are better, better equipped than we get, of course, uh, the services we need. Better equipped, better trained, safer. So in, you're right, it has a direct uh, re result. Yeah. Is that where this whole event kind of started was, you know, eight years ago that you guys wanted to do something to do those fundraising uh, for those things that they need? Absolutely. Um, that's what the foundation was uh, created for, was to raise funds. And, um, it, you know, the, the city is in kind of, you know, disarray with regards to budget, so they are lacking in some, uh, they may get them eventually, but, you know, we need them to have that now. Um, is, <laughs> so this is one of the two main fundraisers of the Tucson Police Foundation, which directly, again, benefits the, um, the Tucson Police Department officers. And what have you heard back from the officers? I mean, I've, I've got to think that they're just so thankful to have this Absolutely, absolutely. You know, one of the things that we're trying to do is always keep that awareness going and so that all the you know, entire department knows and of course the entire city. But we do have other um, uh, uh, programs like, such as Adopt a Cop and what that does is it, it raises money directly and it goes towards replacement bulletproof vests for the officers because those are in need as well. And yes, they're very thankful. They're very thankful for, to the sponsors, the um, individuals in the community, the business people that donate towards this, this cause. It's just, it's just a fabulous cause. And like I said, the community should definitely come out because yes. it is going to be uh, benefiting them in the long run. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, you did say that there is a fee if somebody wants to show off their car. Yes. And we know how some people are. Their car is like their baby, you know, <laughs> they and they can't, yeah, yeah. they can't wait for everyone to be like yes. oohing and eyeing over it. Yes. So what steps do they take to say, I'd like to show mine off? Absolutely. We had originally um, stopped registration last Friday, but we have extended it. It's open. It's online at TucsonPoliceFoundation.org. You can call the Tucson Police Foundation office. Uh, you can come by the office. Office, so there's still the opportunity to to go ahead and register your baby. Yes. <laughs> and speaking of babies, for yeah. the real babies, Evelyn, can you tell us a little bit about the kids' events that are there? Oh, there there are quite a few. We actually have pedal cars. We have the pine derby cars. The really neat thing, from my perspective, is the police departments there. They have their vehicles. They have the helicopter. We have. Um, SWAT, all the groups are out there, so the kids get to intermingle with the officers as well. So it's a positive enforcement back to the kids and the community of, of our law enforcement. So it's just, it's a great event and, it, and it's a lot of fun for the whole family. Mm -hmm. You know, I love when we get to have the police officers or AMT or firefighters out at these type of events because the kids sometimes when they have to interact with them, it may not right. be such, uh, you know, it may be a stressful situation when they see them, but they get to see them now when, you know, they have fun yes. and they get to see that they're good people and they can go to them when they need right. that help. So yes. I love when we have these type of events. Yes.
You're so exactly and that's right. what we're trying to do. Yes. Absolutely. Yep. Create that um, that community, that spirit, and let you know that they're just people too. You come up, talk to them. They can give you some terrific advice and just chat with them. Sometimes you get to sit on the motorcycles or you know play with some of the buttons and yeah. They <laughs> would love fun. that. Yeah. I, know, my, my I have a picture of my daughter that I'm just thinking of in my head when she was in the back of a cop car going ah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Please. I hope this is not a flash of like when you're a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be it'll be the good. It'll be yeah, the good. Like at this good. type of an yeah. event. <laughs> exactly. Ladies, thank you so much for telling us about this event. And again, yes. the eighth annual Cops and Rodders Car Show takes place on November first from eight a.m. to four p.m. at High Corbett Field. It is free for all spectators. For more information, you can call 207-2878 or visit their website, TucsonPoliceFoundation.org.